obviously everyone is talking about uh, the tragedy that happened in Newtown, Connecticut last Friday. Now, as you can tell, I was pretty upset about it on Friday. I continue to be pretty upset. You know, when 28 people die, 20 kids in kindergarten are killed, you're some sort of monster if you're not upset by that. Uh, obviously, we all are. The question is, what are we going to do about it? Uh, we would like to do a lot about it. We'd like to get real legislation, getting the number of guns uh, in this country under control. Now, there are others who say, no, guns aren't the problem. Of course not. So let me uh, show you some recent shootings since the Connecticut massacre. Well, on Friday, we also had Bartlesville, uh, Oklahoma. An 18-year-old was actually plotting on the same exact day to shoot up his high school. He was going to trap everybody in the auditorium. Uh, he tried to enlist help to uh, shoot and murder everybody in there. Uh, and then he was going to try to detonate bombs as the cops tried to can't come and help. Luckily, uh, somebody turned him in. So before that massacre happened with a whole other set of guns, he was uh, caught. And then there was... Uh, a man in Fallon, Nevada, who shot and killed his girlfriend, and then he took his own life, so that was a murder-suicide. And then in Las Vegas, Nevada, we had a man shoot uh, a woman working at the Excalibur Hotel, and then he committed suicide. So uh, there's two in Nevada right there, lots of shootings. This happens every day. In fact, look at Saturday. Saturday was a busy day in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, police shot and killed an armed man who shot and wounded an officer and two hospital employees. Lots of shootings there. Denver, Colorado. Boy shot multiple times. Guess what happened? He died. That's what happens when you get shot. California City, California. Another murder-suicide. A 76-year-old man kills a 51-year-old woman. This is just one day in America. And we're not even giving you all of them. But let's continue on Saturday. Charlotte, North Carolina. 21-year-old male found dead from a gunshot wound. Guthrie, Oklahoma. A three-year-old accidentally shoots and kills himself. Yeah, that, that gun in that house kept him really safe, except for the fact that it killed him. Don't have guns in the house because your kids might kill themselves. If you don't realize that, well, you got another rude awakening for you. Let's skip ahead for a second uh, to Sunday. Uh, Topeka, Kansas, two police officers shot and killed uh, in a shootout. Well, there's a lot of those. Remember Dodge is in Kansas. And, oh, we had to get the hell out of Dodge because there were shootouts. <laughs> now there are shootouts everywhere. You can't escape it. Southgate, California, well-known tattoo artist, found dead from multiple gunshot wounds. You know what, let me go back to Saturday for a second, because that day ain't done yet. Uh, Roy, Utah man, shoots at a wife, his neighbors, the police, is in a two-hour standoff with the cops. Then we go to Newport Beach, California, where a man was arrested for firing 50 shots in a parking lot mall. Somewhat miraculously, no one got hurt. That could have been a giant massacre as well. Birmingham, Alabama, police shoot and kill a suspect. Uh, with an AK-47 following pursuit, and then there was, so that was two Alabama shootings. The ones where the cops got killed earlier was a 29-year-old cop who had recently joined the force and a 50-year-old that was in the military uh, that was also shot. And then the guy who was, uh, had shot them got shot himself in another shootout, and the list goes on and on. We are swimming in an ocean of weaponry. People talk about video games. Video games? Movies? <laughs> well, in Japan and the UK and Australia and endless other countries, they also have violent video games. Guess what? They get the same movies we do. But we get a different result. Here's the result we get. Now take a look at this. This is uh, violent assaults in America. Other OECD countries, that's developed countries, European Union, etc. Those are all the red lines at the bottom. Uh, the giant, enormous blue line at the top, engulfing all other countries, literally killing them, is the United States of America, where we are so much more violent. Why? Because we have so many more things to be violent with. Would that be the same number if we uh, outlawed guns and we only had bats, knives, mace, etc.? No, because study after study shows that if you t take away guns, they do not have the same amount of violence all of a sudden with bats and scissors and knives. It's just not true. In fact, over the last 50 years, do you know that 15 of the 25 worst mass shootings in the world took here in the United States? We're number one. We're number one in violence. We're number one in mass shootings. 15 out of the 25 happened in just one country. All right, here is, according to a study by uh, economist Richard Florida, what is not related to uh, gun violence deaths. 
higher population. People say, well, the U.S. is really a high population. Well, it turns out when you do the studies, it is not related to more gun violence deaths. More stress? Nope. More immigrants? Nope. That's a common uh, racial, ethnic uh, stereotype. Oh, well, you know, so you don't get a lot of killings in Sweden because, you know, you don't have the immigrants, you know, the dark people, right? Wrong again, Bob. No correlation to immigrants. Mental illness? No correlation to me uh, mental illness. Here's the correlation. States with tighter gun control laws appear to have fewer gun-related deaths. Really? Of course! Of course they do! There's less guns to kill people with! In fact, a Harvard study showed no matter what you're talking about, whether it's a nation, whether it's a state, or whether it's a home, the more guns, the more gun-related deaths. Of course! Come on! Anybody who denies it is being ridiculous, is being stupid purposely stupid. It's one thing to say, hey look man, I believe in freedom, I know more people are going to die, but I love my guns and you know whether we like it or not, it's in the Constitution. Those are fair arguments, you can make those arguments, okay? But you can't tell me that more guns doesn't equal more death, because it's not true, it's not factual. The fact is, more guns definitely equals more deaths. So when you say, hey, I love my guns and that's just the way it is, okay, you're saying, well, we're going to have more mass shootings, and we're going to have more kindergarten kids, kids killed. Because I like my hobby of hunting. I like that, as Romney does, hunt varmints and small rodents. So, yeah, part, part of that price is that a three-year-old gets shot in the head because their uh, parents had a gun in the house. All right, well, they say, well, look, these assault weapon bans, etc., they don't work. Really? Do you know that since the assault weapon ban put in place by Bill Clinton lapsed in 2004, the number of mass shootings has doubled since the ban expired. Doubled. Now, and then you will get through, oh, well, causation, correlation, does that necessarily equal causation? Oh, just look at all these different numbers that all show more guns equals more deaths. And so, I don't know, it could have been something else. It could have been uh, video games. No, they have video games in other places. They just don't have the kind of weaponry that we have. And I've also shown you in the past, we're number one by a long shot in guns per capita, 89 guns per every 100 people. Yemen comes in at a lowly number two with 55 guns for every 100 people. We are sick in the head with guns and it is, according to the numbers, according to the facts, according to the endless shootings happening every single day in America, literally killing us.